Hello, I am Cat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to review this new Humble Lamb Bible. So this is um, their new edition. It's the Lion. Um, it was kickstarted last November. Um, they only made a few of them. They didn't really go out and make a lot because they wanted to see um, if this was the Bible that we would all be interested in. So um, they had it shared on all social media sites. So I definitely was interested in this Bible. Um, I was hoping to get the actual lion in print on it, but it didn't work out that way. This was the one that I was sent. So I am still excited to share it and I love it. All right, so I'm gonna hop on in and just share what is in this box. All right, let's get a nice close up. It is a beautiful white box. Now we do have a purple, um, like accents, you know, the purple lion, the purple little um, color here. Now, if you get a blue, a green, a black, this will match the color of your Bible. So that is super cool. I do love how they did that. It's just not one box for all Bibles. Each Bible has its own box. Super cool, love that little touch. And what we have to keep in mind, when it comes to Humble Lambs Ministry, they're a small, like, upcoming, um, like, publisher. They really are. They're not huge. They're not Skyler. They're not Allen. They're not these big, big publishers that have been out Cambridge for hundreds of years. They're new. They're learning. And let me say this. This is the first publisher that has listened to our feedback. If we wanted different ribbons, different paper, um, thicker goat skin, every single thing, every single comment somebody said about their first edition, the actual humble lamb, they corrected in this Bible. So I do want to thank you, you guys. I do recognize the huge steps, the leaps and boundaries that you have made difference between each Bible that you have you're amazing keep up the great work and you will go far i promise you you will go far because your bibles are stunning stunning so i did want to say that um make sure you go over and give them some love all their bibles right now as of um august of 2020 they are all sold out you cannot find you can't go buy any of these bibles they are all sold out but they are making more um, so make sure you keep checking in, you keep looking, you keep in contact with them, you guys, because more are coming. Okay? So it is a two, like a two box. They do have a card. Love this card. Very modern, chic looking. Here's their information. So make sure you go follow them. Follow them on Instagram. I do. They always share their beautiful Bibles there and on Facebook. Okay. So, and then look, look. I love their boxes. How the Humble Lamb has the same one too. Love it. Okay. And the boxes are very, very good quality boxes. They're highly recommend you keep them and store your Bible in there. Okay, so at first, I'm just going to give you an overview look of this beautiful Bible, and then I'll bring you in closer so you can really, really grasp this, like the craftsmanship, the beautifulness of this amazing Bible. And yes, 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 my nails match the Bible. That wasn't intentional. Um, <laughs> trust me, it just, it just happened that way. Okay, so we have this beautiful spine. I do like how they have the um, Word of God. There is no extra logos, there's no um, translation, there's nothing. It's really simple, really plain, I love that. And it has a beautiful roundness on the spine. It's not just a straight block spine. It's very, very rounded. The hubs are big and beautiful. So it's really going to protect this gold over time. Now, this is um, Marivan, I do believe, Mediterranean. Mediterranean goat skin. All right. And this is how what I'm looking at. <laughs> All right. So, you can see the actual, um, look at this. 
there's scarring right here the grain is beautiful the color is just stunning oh I am so loving this color it's bright and vibrant for a goat skin normally a purple is like a black like you can't even tell that it's purple not this one you can really really see the bright purpleness it is it's just it's so beautiful you see the purple stitching around the perimeter of the Bible they do have like a semi yep so that's gorgeous all right it is my sewn we have these are gold gold ribbons beautiful beautiful gold ribbons which match the head the um, yellow well yellow the gold and yellow or gold and white matching head and tail bands I'm tripping up myself here and I love that combination it just it really looks royalty it looks like like a lion like a, like a, the king oh royalty I love those two colors now what is so beautiful about this Bible is the purple the purple that they did underneath the gold Okay, this is where I gotta take you off real quick. I gotta take you off the tripod so you can come and experience this purple too. Have you ever seen a purple that dark? It's almost close to black. Look at the cascading. These are cascading signatures of the Bible. That is beautifully done. Not all publishers can accomplish that. And for them being so brand new, look at this. Oh, Oh, so beautiful, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But that purple really, really, really just pops. And it brings the focus into the, like, in the center of the page. It really helps direct your eyes. So I do love that. Okay, let's get back to the beginning. So this is the Lion Edition. So we get the stamped line up there. And we get who it's from. It's Humble Lamb. Go ahead, get up there, sorry. And we have the beautiful gold trim along the side. So the gold foiling. You're not staying on my lap, Papa. You can't. It is edge lined. Now, what they do different with their edge lined Bibles, um, they won't just glue the page like halfway. They glue it all the way together. So people don't try to separate it. So that is a good idea. So it is a kind of stiff at the beginning because like this whole page is glued. So over time it will lay flat. Now we do have a cardstock page. This is the presentation page. They continue on with the lion. There is this like dark midnight blue. It's completely blank. And it is on cardstock. So they did listen to all the feedback. It was on paper, like actual Bible paper. So they listened to our feedback and they put it on cardstock. Great, great choice. This is the title paper paper. It's a brand new Bible, you guys. And it's going to be 11 point font. 11. So it is going to be huge. And for a two column format, as you've seen. So every time you purchase a Bible, they will send someone in need a budget Bible. So I love that. So you're basically buying two Bibles, you guys. Here's a table of contents, old and new. Now this is something interesting. This gives you the information um, about the Bible, but look how they did it. They still have it in the same print as um, layout format as they do in the actual holy text. So this is the gentleman that we will see our pictures throughout the whole Bible. I don't ever want to like mess up his name, so I'll just show it.
This is the epistle to the dedicatory. And the translator to the reader. You guys, make sure you go through and read this. A lot of people want to point fingers about the um, KJV translation, but go through and read this. You'll understand a lot more once you do. And there, there's a lot, so you're, yeah, you'll be here for a minute. Okay. Oh, and I did want to share the very last page. They did have this help. So this is what we will see when we're looking at the Bible. We get the paragraphs, breaks, the headers, definition, and I'll go ahead and show you all of these as we go through the Bible. But this is real helpful. So when you have the Bible in your hand, you know exactly what you're looking at. Instead of having to go back through, watch somebody's review and have them tell you. Okay, so look at this. Look at this beautiful layout, you guys. Remember, it's 11-point font, so it's huge. It's huge for a two-column format. It's very readable. They have these drop caps, which have this blue color. It kind of looks black, but it's like a dark midnight blue. Beautiful. You can underline, you can mark the words. Now, I did want to share something. Right here, you see, oh, that's an I. Not, I thought it was a one. I may not be able to share it there. But we have chapter one, and this will be all the verses. So these, these are the verse references, and this down here will be to help you understand um, the harder words. The King James translation is known for words that, you know, we don't know. We don't understand, so everyone wants to stay away from it. So right here, do you see the number two and three? So we're going to come down here. We're going to look for the three, and then there's the two, and it explains what that means. How cool is that? There has been so many times, and here's 16, where was it? Oh, that's still I. Well, anyways, but there's been so many times I've gone, went through and was reading. And I was like, what does that word mean exactly? And to have, I've only seen this in this Bible. I've never seen other, any other publishers have that. I mean, there's some in some study notes, but they give you like a lot of information and it kind of, they don't focus on just the one word. So we, we have references down here, but extra help to understand what we're reading. Super, super, super cool. And then look, look at these pictures. There's something I did want to point out about these pictures, you guys. These pictures are copies, obviously, but the original was on wood. If you look through here, you can see the actual wood grain in the back. Um, Let's see if we can find like a good hole. Because people think like all these little lines and stuff, like from the wood, it's actually part of the picture, but it's not. He actually etched all this in on, I should say, on a piece of wood. So he was super, super talented. Not only did he draw these, but it's wood. Hopefully I could share. Oh yeah, and that was another one. Um, because the pictures were so dark, let's see if we could find a good a good wood pattern that's different like right here look at this this is kind of different see this is wood pattern all these lines they're wood pattern that is beautiful I did want to point that out because I haven't seen any other re Bible reviewer point that out that these pictures were not only copied but they're original it was on wood you can see the wood grain but because the actual picture are so dark, um, it was a fear that it would come through the next page. But look at that. There is no bleed through. It's 38 um, European paper. So it's extremely, extremely beautiful. It is line match. So you won't have any distractions when you're reading. 
and I've read it in multiple different lights like lighting and it just oh it is so beautiful I am extremely impressed they really really did an amazing job and just oh, they I will come back and do another video sharing both of the Bibles humble lamb and this lion edition so you guys can see the leaps and bounds that this publisher went through now when they this is the Psalms I love the Psalms you all but this is um, how do how do you say it's not a red letter because they did do something different they went ahead and created a blue letter which I think is an amazing idea because a lot of people don't like red letter Bibles and if you look like right here there's the blue and the red or the blue and the black so for those of you that don't really like the you know different colors you basically can't even tell but for those of us who do love color I love how you can tell the slight difference all the words are inspired I love them all they all mean so much but it's really cool just to get an extra um, color just gets me excited that's why I add so much color in my Bible so when I see the difference like that I'm like oh my brain switches into a different mode like I, I, I awaken I'm like oh this is cool something different to you know pay attention to I don't know it just it just does something differently but they did an amazing job when they first announced that they were going to do a blue letter I was thinking it was going to be like a baby blue but no they really 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 did a good job it really um, it doesn't even clash with this dark blue so we're having multiple different colors there's a dark blue a light blue a black on top of the purple it all blends beautifully so there's nobody that can say oh I wish it was an all black Bible or I wish it was a red there's everyone everyone gets or is happy with this Bible there you can really see the wood that wood grain it's just so amazing to, to actually know that like wow he actually carved that from wood and then down below it would actually per pull out the verse that it's talking about so yeah highly 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 recommend you all make sure when they come out back out go grab you one you will not be disappointed I mean I wasn't even expecting this one at all and oh, I am so 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 excited and blessed that the Lord put this in my hands I am really really excited I did want to thank humble lamb um, for sending me this I really 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 greatly greatly appreciate it now this is the concordance it is a three column concordance and the words I don't know if you could tell but they are blue so they did change or put a little emphasis on the color that or the color <laughs> the word that you're looking at so it's a good a really good concordance size and then they created maps just for the lion Bible and I do love how they have the border around the side that is beautiful it really just brings the map in and they oh they, they do have the degrees too so there's degrees in the actual direction beautifully done maps you can read the words they're not blurry then you get a couple of cardstock pages in the back here and then the back and right here we have the first printed edition. 
super, super excited about that. I did, um, well, yeah, that's okay. All right, thank you for watching. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box today. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.